I've been thinking a lot lately about our potato bed. Did they rot with all the rain we've been having? Good morning, modern steaders. Time to go do the morning chores. You wanna go? Come on, let's go. You don't need to go. You can come with me. Go see Rufus. I've been moving their chicken tractor every 12 hours at least, so at least twice a day. Can you guys see how much they scratch that up? That is awesome. You guys are great foragers. Keep it up. Now they got some nice fresh grass. <laughs> Have fun on your field trip today. Bye. Love you, give me a hug and kiss. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. Good morning. Want some food? Want some breakfast? Let's check on all of our starts, see how they're doing. These guys need to go out. I'll probably keep these in for another day. Let's check on our herbs. Ooh, those look nice. Those can go under the grow light. Look like they're drying out. We better go get some water for them. Good morning, Blackie. How you doing? Almost ready to go outside with the other chicks. Seem to be healing up nicely. I can't wait to get her outside. I bet you she can't wait to get outside with the other chicks too. It's probably getting pretty boring being in here by yourself all the time, huh? Sun feels good already. Whew. Supposed to be like 84 today for a high, so we're gonna leave the front off and we'll keep the back covered with glass. We don't want these things overheating on us. While we're over here, we should go check on the blueberry bushes we planted. Olivia's nice stone work she did. They're looking nice, guys. Good green growth. It's nice. It's four inches of growth so far this year. I like it. Pluto, get out of the road. Come on. We're already gonna have some berries. Nice.
Good morning. How was your breakfast? You always want to remember to shut off the fence. Good morning to you too. Some of the ducks don't like to use the ramp. Oh, well, she's going to. And other ducks don't like to use the door. They just crack me up. Remember to plug your fence back in or turn it back on. What are you doing? Good morning. You making us some compost? Huh? You making us some compost? We gotta move this. We have this sitting on our chicken wire that we have out extended, lying on the bottom all the way around. That way, predators can't dig under the chicken trap there. Gives you a little bit extra work to do when you go to move it. You wanna pick it up off the front, otherwise, you're gonna be dragging it under the tractor. Once you move them on your fresh grass, they just go to town eating the grass. You know it's gonna be a nice hot day out. You wanna make sure your animals have plenty of drinking water. You don't want them to run out. When you go to feed your chicks, you can get a little mayhem. Don't matter if they had food all the time or not, whenever you bring new food in, they just go crazy. Make sure none escape on you. Pluto wants them to escape. Easy peasy guys to raising your own meat birds. You keep some barred rock chickens in with them and they teach them how to be chicks and get them to eat more grass. I've been thinking a lot about all the potatoes. Did they all rot with all the rain we've been having? I don't see anything coming up. I've been keeping an eye on it and nothing's been happening. Let's see if we can check in the area and see what's going on under there. There we go. Pull back some hay and see what we can find.
All right, we got a potato. It's starting to grow the eyes a little bit more, but the potato itself is not rotted. That was my concern. That makes me feel so much better that I know, now I know it's just been too cold for those potatoes to grow too much. I was afraid with all that rain we've been getting that they had rotten. Whew, that would have been a big disappointment. So it's a good thing to know. With the way we planted them with all that rain we've gotten, they're not rotting. So it's a good way to do it if you live in a wet area. They should, with this heat we'll be having the next couple of days, they should start growing really good. We'll keep you guys posted on it. That's right, if you guys wanna to learn to grow more awesome food like this, the Homegrown Food Summit starts June 12th. There's gonna be 38 speakers talking about how to grow your own food and how do you grow your own medicinal herbs. I'll leave the link down in the description below. But it's 38 speakers from Joel Salatin, Sally Fallon, Jeff Lawton. I mean, the list goes on and on. Go hit the link, go check it out. It's free for seven days. It runs 24 hours a day for seven days in a row. You get to watch all the great content they're putting out. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share the channel. It's really been helping, guys. We're growing at an awesome rate, and that's all because of you. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.